You're watching Metallicomania, and I'm back with part four, or where I say my favorite album of the year. It's been uh, a long, it's been a long 2020. 2020 has completely sucked. If anybody's uh, thinking about 2020 and 2021, I'm, <laughs> I'm a bad man for thinking about 2020 and 2021. Uh, I'm literally what they had in mind when they said Diary of a Madman for this one. <laughs> So, that all said, I'm going to go into number 10, the top 10 best albums of 2020, in my opinion. Oh, I'm going to enjoy doing this because, well, I spent so much time, I spent so much time on just making this fucking 20 minute video. It's probably going to be 20 minutes, not going to lie. In number 10, spoiler alert, it's, it's the band that's on my shirt, of course. I did put their album on the list and... Delane with Apocalypse and Chill. Can't believe that this... I can't, I can't believe this one is not higher. Because I completely loved this album when it came out. Um, guitars are loud when they need to be. They have kind of draw back the guitars when uh, Charlotte comes into vocals. Great start. Her vocals shine on this album. Another thing that I've... Uh, Every single album they've done, her vocals are good. Like, there's no bad production quality to any of the albums that they've done. Creatures is a good song. It, it, it's, it's a little bit weird, but it's still good. Let's talk about Ghost House Art into the absolutely over-the-top track, Masters of Destiny. When I say over the top, I mean the best of the fucking album. Completely the best of this album. It stands no... It literally stands, uh... There's nothing that stands up to, stands up to this song on this album. It's probably the best song of the year. Other than a couple other ones that I've seen. That on the actual ones that were... The ones from down the list. Like the ones that are uh, not nine to one but like like above this one the one that came already on the other parts so yeah um starts out with one second great song to start out with actually i i originally thought this album was a little bit weak to their other albums but when i re-listened to it Comparing it to their other albums, I realized it was kind of one of the stronger albums of their discography. So, yeah. I put it at number 10. I think it's one of the best of the year. But you're going to be seeing there is some really insanely over-the-top albums this year. Number 9 is the Thrash Metal album I was talking about in part 1. Evil Dead, first ones in, the first album in decades, like, Possessed won last year, if you don't, if, spoiler alert, Possessed won my albums of the year last year, it was the best album of 2019, um, so yeah, United States of Anarchy, this album is fantastic, it's all, it's overly political, like, overly, completely political, um, it has old style thrash to it fucking love that it sounds like it's in the 80s the production is just 80s fucking horrible production but it does it justice in your face every goddamn minute of this album yeah it's what evil dead was and now they made another album and became that again so so yeah evil dead check that one out i fucking wish i had a copy of it but i don't Number eight, one that I re-listened to just a couple uh, hours ago, Beyond the Black with Horizons at number eight. Uh, I knew this one was going to be on here. I just knew by just the band's name when comes up, when, they, when their name came up on new releases, I was like, they're definitely going to be on the end of your list. It's just no question. They're like almost anything they put out. Um, one of my favorite bands of all time. 
one of my favorite symphonic bands. Vocals are clear, guitar overlap. That pisses me off when in symphonic you can't hear the actual vocalist because the guitars are over it. The guitar parts are over the vocals and it's just like you can't understand it at all. This one does it a bit differently and doesn't do that where the vocals are actually in front of the guitar, which is definitely better than what usual symphonic does. Um, songs have big variety, big variety riffs on this album. Mostly vocal driven, but sometimes switches to riff driven. If you don't know what vocal and riff driven means, it's what the, the vocals shine more or the riff shines more. This one is interchangeably with uh, wounded he with a uh, wounded healer, golden pariah, marching on. Marching on is one of them that has the uh, riff driven. So is uh, wounded healer. Some kind of monster is more of a uh, vocal driven, and horizons is both. This fantastic overall. This band can do no wrong. No matter how much they uh, experiment, they could do no wrong, in my opinion. And even even if it's an 8 out of 10, like one of their albums are, in my opinion, it's not bad. And I still can, and I still listen to it on the regular, so. Number 7 is, uh, this one was a big surprise to me that I didn't know about this one sooner. Hell Ripper with the Affair of the Poisons. Um, sounds like this just has complete Bathory influence to it. I can tell that it's Bathory inspired. And original sound. Another original sound though. It puts that Bathory sound in it, but it's just original. And you can and you probably would know this band if they released others. First song in the title tracks. First song in the title track is awesome. Riffs are fantastic. Vampire's Grave rips this song, this album rips front to back. Twenty nine minutes is a very short album, but it, it just gets the job done. Like if they, if he put any more to this album, it might have been, it might turn out to be a little bit boring. But no, like twenty nine minutes. I think that's how much a Morals album originally, like original Immortal album was. The Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism album. Um, I think that's about 29 minutes. Definitely is good. Fucking love that album. Like, going into number six is Inquisition. The new Inquisition is going to be on here. Black Mass for a black uh, Black Mass for a Mass Grave. Just change of speed all the way through the album. Black metal done right, of course. This band never does black metal wrong, and it's always a big cosmic feel. Like, I like the first song. That's uh, Luciferian Rays is a fantastic song. Slow moving album and it feels long but does this in an enjoyable way. It takes a couple of listens to enjoy. Of course it does because it's black metal and I really don't take the time to listen to black metal too much but when it comes to bands like this and I have found other albums that I like by them I take time to listen to the black metal album more. Sometimes I like it on the first listen. doesn't you know. Number five. This is top five. These are probably my favorite. This is, this is like the best albums of the year. My favorite albums of the year. So let's get into it with uh, one that I knew would be on here because it was the my favorite of them of all. Like, uh, spoiler alert! I just spoiled the whole video. Oh my god! If you want to check out that video, go check it out. Ends of Eerum with Thalassic. I just recently bought all, like, almost all their studio albums, so. Just to add to that. Opening is great. Harsh vocals are classic. Of course, it sounds completely like old Ends of Irem. Good guitar tone. Cl clean vocals are pretty good. Very epic album. Original sound. Awesome melodic riff. Will probably become classic in the next few years. And another thing, 
called Northland Part 3. A good Part 3 song is very, very rare. And that's another thing that sold me on this album, is when there's a Part 3 song that is actually good. And, like, I can't even explain, like, how good this album is just by summing it up here. I have a video, Ends of Year Ranking, that ranks their whole discography and puts this one on there. So, check that, one, check that video out. It'll tell you everything you need to know about the album. Shit, sorry. Um, number four. Number four is a very uh, surprising album to be on this list. A band that I've liked for years. I've gone back to uh, my Christian roots, of course. This band that I used to listen to as a kid in Catholic school. Because this is the band that they recommended us to listen to if we were into heavy metal. So I listened to the newest album from them and, and love it. Striper, number four. With Even the Devil Believes. I know a lot of people are going to be mad for me putting this one on the list. But. Yeah. Let's talk about it. The best starting track of 2020. Well. 2020. The best starting track of 2020. Blood from above. He is a holy human sacrifice. Blood upon the cross. Just amazing goddamn like line. The riff of that album just. Just carries and it's just in your face the guitar tone is fantastic second song is fantastic with two make love great again pretty fucking good song if you ask me and i just swore um of course because this this isn't a pg channel um when i get into it i kind of get a little bit too uh rowdy just leave it at that uh very consistent with variety in songs. How to Fly is a great song. Divider has dueling solos. Oh my god, dueling solos. Dueling solos. Dueling solos. Another one of my things that I love from the old Slayer ages. The old Slayer, old Meta uh, not Metallica, Megadeth. Metallica never really did dueling solos other than Master Puppets. But yeah. And King Diamond. If you look at King Diamond, what he used to do with dueling solos. Oh my god, I love dueling solos. Um, so yeah, let's go through the track list. Let Him In, Do Unto Others, Even the Devil Believes, Great Title Track, How, How to Fly, Divider, Thus I Pray, A Good Prayer, on an album. Um, Invitation Only, Forgotten Rock and Roll, Middle Finger Messiah, a song, a, a song literally about people that get, like, people that completely hate God. Not one of them, myself, not one of them. Um, so yeah, love the album, love, love Striper, uh, just love the band Striper. I have almost, I have a lot of their studios, and I listen to Striper almost, I listen to them all the time. Um, number three, let's go into the top three, my favorite ones from 2020. Number three, and sorry for swearing on the Striper review. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, sinned. <laughs> I just, I, I can't even stop myself anymore because I do that so much on this channel. Oh my god. We all knew it was coming. We all knew this band was going to be on my list. A lot of people don't like this band. Amaranth with uh, Manifest at number three. Fearless. Oh my god, Fearless is such a good song to start the album out. I know, I didn't just take God in, God's name in vain. Because, well, I can't take his name in vain because, uh... I'm not gonna explain it. I'm not gonna explain it on this channel. I'm not restraining religion on this channel. God, why do I keep doing this shit? But yeah, number one, fearless. Great song to start the album out. Make it better. Scream my name. Viral. Adrenaline. Strong. The game. Crystalline. 
Archangel. Oh my god, Archangel is fantastic. It is fantastic. It, like, Archangel's the best one on here. Like, definitely. I love Archangel. It's, like, when I first heard this, this single come out, I was like, oh my god, this album's gonna be so big. I was like, and then boom. Didn't expect the breakdown. I didn't expect when I yelled, the breakdown goes boom. I didn't even expect it was gonna be there. Die and wake up. Do or die. Let's go through my notes. All vocals are strong. They have three vocalists. Elise's vocals are fantastic on this album. Start is amazing. Starting song is pretty good. Even the ones that aren't meant to be hits are great. Surprise Breakdown, as I already noted, and Archangel is pinnacle. Like, pinnacle song for this year. What can get better than this album? I'm going to share it. A deathcore and a death metal album. That what That's what can get better. Absolute madness on these two albums. Absolute madness. A very controversial uh, second pick, but... I knew this one was going to be high when I first listened to it. Lorna Shore with uh, Immortal. You knew that I knew this one was gonna be on here. I love this album. Like, like, it is by far one of the most disgusting albums I've ever heard before. Boundaries of Deathcore, a band, a genre you never think would be pushed boundaries wise. It's been pushed. It's been pushed by this album. Um, technical is all hell. CJ's vocals are so disgusting on this album. Like breakdowns are everywhere the guitars are so heavy almost everywhere on this album and it's just so insanely over the top and it's just it's almost ear blasting like i knew deathcore was supposed to be ear blasting and i never thought i would hear anything like this before this is by far one of the if not the best one of the best albums i've ever heard and it's at number two, so you would think number one's got to be way, 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 way big. Like, I mean, way big. And number one is by far one of the insane albums I've ever heard before. So, yeah, and the controversy is with CJ. I'm not really going to go into uh, details of that controversy, but, you know, I put, I, I'm unbiased and I put everything, I separate artists from music, but really i don't really have to separate the artist from music because really i didn't, didn't think nothing up bad upon cj i don't think anything bad upon him um number one i'm gonna actually give my opinion for the best album of this year and this album was insane like i mean insane i like i talked about dueling solos there was about four on one song like and it was all in the old school death metal sound skeletal remains with uh the entombment of chaos like this album just blew me away this year this album was completely insane and over the top and my favorite of 2020 classic 90s death metal sound but still original they still have an original sound, but sound like old 90s death metal. 90s death metal solo. solo. Six acoustic interludes. Sometimes more than one solo in one song. Speed cha speeds change and dueling solo madness. Like, there's dueling solos everywhere. Like, I can't even put the words, like, how over the top this album is like how great this album is it's so good like i mean that's, i'm gonna actually go through the booklet and sh just absolutely go through where the solos are at because this is insane solo solo and it's like they're all dueling too two solos there solo 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 it's insane. It is definitely insane. Another solo. Another solo. That three solos in that song. 
So, so. So, yeah, they they even have, like, the max is three solos in a song. But they're just interchangeably doing solos from one guitarist to the other guitarist. And it's just, and the, and let's not, let's, let's look at the vocals too. The vocals are fantastic. They sound like old school death metal. The vocals just are just amazing. Like, but let's go back to the solos because that's that's literally what I, the riffs, the solos, everything about this album is just fantastic. And first time I listened to this, I, I was liter literally like, oh my God, what the hell did I just listen to? Because for all my metal listening years, I've never actually heard a new album come out that I like, like these old, like these old albums. Like, I'm not, like, it, it's literally up to par with, like, Scream Bloody Gore or, um, Left Hand Path. It's, like, at that level. It's at that level of, uh, death metal-wise. It's, like, death metal is my all-time favorite genre. Like, all-time favorite old school 90s death metal like i can i kind of like the swedish death metal a little bit more but i kind of like florida death metal too but yeah it just sounds like classic 80 like 90s 80s death metal and i haven't heard that kind of sound in years and it kind of blew me away like i knew like the top three are, like, some of the most amazing albums of this year, of any year. Like, this whole list, like, any of these could have been top on 2019. Like, I'm just going to sit here and reflect at the end of the video because, well, I can. And I couldn't even remember half of the things on this list. And where do I follow this? Like, where, like, I don't even know where the direction of this channel is going to even go because of, like, certain stuff that I got to do now that I didn't have to do in 2020 or 2019 or 2019. Like, these albums this year completely tainted my listening. Like, they were just so good that they tainted my listening to the point where I can't even, like, every time I pick up an old album like King Diamond, like, any of the old, uh, the not-so ones that I don't like, uh, the King Diamond ones I don't like as much as their uh, original stuff, I can't, like, I can't even fathom them anymore. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I've gotten so out of it, like, so out of it because of this, these new releases this year. So, yeah, I'm going to be taking a maybe a couple of days break but first of february i will do a video i'm planning on uploading all black metal for february so check that out if you want to um yeah all death all, bla all black metal um i think august is where i could do death metal all death metal death metal like reviews where i go through and listen to a bunch of death metal albums and review them on a day-to-day -day basis and do some rankings that's, that's what i'm gonna do on uh, february i'm gonna get back into the spin of things and stop with this uh end of the year shenanigan like i had this year i have every year in january um it will not get out of control like this again um it was out of control this year i took maybe a two weeks of this of january just listening to albums that i forgot to listen to and it just took all of my time and it's just i regret every minute of it i should have just put the ones that i had on the list which these are the ones i had on the list and there wasn't any other ones that were added i didn't put any other ones on the list from that whole like listening party i had so the new rules for this is if i don't get to it my december 31st for my health reasons i will not listen to it or i will listen to it i'm, I'm not going to put it on the list i not do it for this list i'll probably listen to it in a couple of years or something because well my health comes first on this channel i gotta start saying that my health comes first on this channel because it's kind of gotten out of control recently 
with rankings and all this other shit. The reviews are not bad because I could just sit down and listen to one album and just sit down and review it. But this list, it's 40 albums that are just completely fucking perfect, is just beyond my capabilities. I had to, uh, I had to waste a lot, uh, not waste my time, but I had to, uh, spend a lot of my time like, doing this and doing what I usually do for fun. Um, this is fun. I really do think this is fun, but it really did, it really didn't, it just took away from my whole health-wise. But it did, but it did give me a kick in the pants to start doing some other stuff like weightlifting and shit. So that's another good factor upon this whole thing is to be able to reflect upon myself and be able to, uh, because I'm always about that, to be able to reflect upon myself and find different things, different interests, different things to do, um, I neglected Twitch streaming, I neglected a bunch of stuff just for the YouTube stuff. Like, I mean, the YouTube stuff was, like, my whole, my whole existence in December, January. And that's what it usually is. This, this December and January is usually my break time from, like, Twitch and shit. Because Twitch, I usually stream somewhat. I will Twitch stream in a few days. Um, I will Twitch stream in a few days for, uh, the big spending spree in GTA. And some Minecraft streams and some other stuff for uh, people that follow me on uh, wherever. And I will post an update on TikTok. So if you're coming here from TikTok, great to see you found my channel. And hopefully you stay a long time. And there's no promises if the 2021 ranking will get done, uh, album or albums of the year will get done. Because, well, I'm planning on doing other stuff too like this year is going to be more busy than 2020 2020 was the time where i was in lockdown and i could do whatever the fuck i wanted and 2021's not like that the lockdowns are over and the direction is just changed for me and it, it kind of hurts me to say it but it's not going to be as big, but we do have bands like Amorphous. Oh my god, Amorphous. The uh, Golden, uh, I think it's called the Golden Elk. Their 2018 album is just overly fantastic. <laughs> their albums are fantastic. So that's where I'm going to end the video. A little reflection upon stuff to come.